This video is the second part follow-up to the last one regarding the Yamaha receiver, the HDMI 2.1 board replacement. In that last video, I submitted a request to United Radio. They are the ones who are responsible for replacing these boards. The confirmation email came a day later. In this email, they confirm your return address. They give you the repair order number. If you put in a request for the packing in the box, they send the request to a third party shipping company in California. They ship that box via UPS with no tracking number provided. It came exactly one week later, and that's why I'm making this video tonight. The email also has instructions on how to back up your receiver settings, and it includes a UPS prepaid shipping label. I forgot to mention, but there is also a PDF on how to pack the receiver properly once you get the box. Before we continue, I will make a quick note that if you have not submitted a request yet, I highly recommend that you request the shipping box. As you can see in this clip, the box they give you is legit. It comes with a lot of packing materials inside, the foam and everything. I was gonna use my PS5 box or any box I had lying around the house, but the reality is I don't have the foam inserts that they provide. In this next section, I'm gonna show you how to back up your receiver settings because you never really know what's gonna happen after they replace the board. It's just good practice. If you don't care about this, you can go ahead and skip to the next section of this video. First, you're just gonna format a USB drive using the FAT16 or 32 file system format. You're then gonna plug this USB drive into the front of the receiver. Then you're gonna turn it on, select menu, then settings, backup slash restore. Then you have to choose backup again. And here's the tricky part. You're gonna have to turn the knob to get the option for execute. That shouldn't take too long. And then your settings are backed up. Next, we're gonna pack the receiver. We're gonna start by removing all the cables and wires. In my case, the power cord cannot be detached. I would be careful of any static electricity. Where I am right now, the air is really dry. Also, if you have not already done so, I would label the speaker wires so that when you get the receiver back, you won't have a hard time reconnecting everything. A good habit that I carry over from working on cars is that I take a picture or a video that way, when you reassemble everything later on, you know where everything went. Next, you're gonna remove both antennas, one on each side. Going back to the packaging box that they provided, I'm gonna just open everything up, take the plastic bag and cover the receiver. I just place it inside. In my case, I tucked the power cable to the back. You're then gonna replace the top two foam inserts. And then finally, you're gonna place the air cushioning on the sides and the top. Take note of the excess materials here. Again, that's why I suggest that you just have them ship you this box. There's definitely no shortage of materials here, and I think that's a big plus. And that should be it. Unfortunately, I won't be able to ship this till later this week. I've been really busy at work. I know a lot of people have asked me to keep them updated uh, through these videos. So I appreciate everyone's support on this channel. If there's any questions, let me know down below, but it should be really straightforward. And hopefully the next time I make an update video, it's when I get the receiver back. And at that time, I'll make the final video. Thank you everyone and have a good night.